top three vitamins that help stop proteinuria and heal your kidneys. A simple urine test can reveal your risk for future diseases. By looking at your urinalysis report, you can find out the level of protein in your urine. If this level exceeds 500 mg per liter, it indicates proteinuria, which may suggest early stages of kidney damage. This happens when the kidney's filtering system is not working properly. Proteinuria is not a health condition itself, but a symptom of kidney disease where there's too much protein in the urine. Many people are unaware they have proteinuria. In our previous video, we discussed that proteinuria can be temporary or persistent. Our current focus is on persistent proteinuria, often linked to chronic kidney conditions. Reducing proteinuria can prevent further kidney damage, saving you from severe pain and expensive treatments. In this video, we'll talk about three vitamins that can help reduce proteinuria and support kidney healing. You'll learn which vitamins are important, why they matter, and how to include them in your diet. Watch until the end to understand the causes and prevention of proteinuria. Our information is created by real people and reviewed by qualified professionals. We do not use artificial intelligence tools to generate content. Our information is fact-checked and unbiased to help you make informed decisions about your diet. The kidneys filter blood, removing waste and excess water and minerals through urine, maintaining balanced fluids and healthy blood pressure levels. Normally, proteins do not leak into urine. Reducing proteinuria can help prevent further kidney damage. Certain vitamins may be low in people with kidney damage, and replacing these vitamins through food or supplements might improve kidney function by repairing tissues. Kidney damage can lead to vitamin deficiencies for several reasons. Damage to the kidney's filtering units, called glomeruli, can cause vitamins to leak into urine along with proteins. Malnutrition is also common in those with kidney damage, often due to a distorted sense of taste and decreased appetite, or eating a diet low in nutrients. As kidney damage progresses, doctors may recommend limiting certain foods, such as beans, fruits, vegetables, and dairy products, which are high in potassium or phosphorus. These can be harmful if not properly filtered out by the body. Severe kidney disease may require dialysis, a mechanical process to filter the blood, presenting additional challenges to maintaining proper vitamin levels. Let's talk about vitamins that can help reduce proteinuria and prevent further kidney damage. First up is vitamin D. This vitamin can be beneficial at addressing proteinuria and kidney issues for several reasons. Vitamin D helps reduce inflammation in the kidneys. Inflammation can cause the tiny filters in the kidneys, called glomeruli, to swell and leak proteins. By reducing inflammation, vitamin D can help decrease proteinuria. Additionally, vitamin D helps regulate blood pressure within the kidneys. When kidney tissues are damaged, the kidneys try to increase blood flow to the area, but this can cause more inflammation and damage, leading to proteinuria. Vitamin D helps lower the levels of hormones and enzymes, like renin and angiotensin, which can cause high blood pressure in the kidneys. Vitamin D also helps produce antioxidants, which protect the body from damage caused by harmful substances known as free radicals. Free radicals are produced by natural body processes like using oxygen and breaking down food. Antioxidants attach to free radicals and prevent them from causing further damage to the glomerular filtration system, which is the main cause of proteinuria. The protective effects of vitamin D may help prevent the formation of star tissue in the kidney's filtering cells, improving glomeruli function and reducing protein loss in urine. However, the effectiveness of vitamin D in stopping proteinuria and healing kidneys is still debated. A 2019 study published in the Journal of the American Medical Association studied over 1,300 patients with type 2 diabetes and found that after five years, vitamin D3 supplements did not significantly affect kidney function. Conversely, a 2019 meta-analysis in the journal Kidney Blood Pressure Research examined nearly 1,000 500 patients with diabetes-related kidney damage and found that vitamin D supplementation reduced protein in the urine. It's important to ensure you get enough vitamin D according to your body's needs. According to the Kidney Disease Outcome Quality Initiative's 2020 recommendations, adequate vitamin D is necessary for those with any stage of kidney damage or disease. Vitamin D supplementation should be personalized and based on doctor recommendations. Adults over 19 should aim for 600 international units IU, of vitamin D daily, equivalent to 15 micrograms. 
Those over 70 need 800 international units, IU, or 20 micrograms daily. Many people get minimal sunlight exposure, so recommended dosages take this into account. Eating foods high in vitamin D and fortified foods can also help increase your levels. However, be cautious with vitamin D supplementation. Vitamin D is fat-soluble and stored in body tissues, so over-supplementation can lead to toxic levels. People with kidney stones or high blood calcium levels should be especially careful as vitamin D can increase calcium absorption and stone formation. Avoid taking vitamins with over 4,000 IU of vitamin D without a health professional supervision. Vitamin D can be taken any time of day, but it is best absorbed after eating foods with healthy fat. When choosing vitamin D supplements, you might see two forms, D2 ergocalciferol and D3 colocalciferol. Vitamin D3 is generally more effective at raising blood levels over time. Foods naturally high in vitamin D include cod liver oil and fatty fish like mackerel and salmon. Liver and egg yolks also have high amounts of vitamin D. Mushrooms exposed to UV light are another good source. Fortified foods like milk, plant-based milks, yogurt, orange juice, and certain cereals can also help increase your vitamin D intake. Always check the nutrition facts label on food packages to see the amount of vitamin D in fortified foods. Are you enjoying our video? If so, please give us a like and we'll create more content like this. Vitamin E, another important vitamin for reducing protein leakage in urine and aiding kidney healing. Vitamin E, like vitamin D, helps reduce inflammation and protects tissues from damage caused by free radicals. Specifically, vitamin E protects cell membranes from free radical damage and aids the repair of cells lining the kidney's filtration system, a process known as autophagy. Autophagy is essential for normal cell function, and vitamin E helps cells conserve energy by regulating this process. This vitamin also ensures autophagy is completed properly and reduces waste accumulation. Improving this cellular maintenance can enhance proteinuria and overall kidney function. Studies on the benefits of vitamin E show promise. A 2021 study published in the journal Nutrients involved 59 patients with diabetic kidney disease who had either microalbuminuria, an early form of proteinuria, or stage 3 chronic kidney disease, CKD, a more advanced condition. While there was no significant reduction in proteinuria in this secondary study, preliminary research showed some improvement. The study's author noted the complexity of studying vitamin E. If you want to increase your vitamin E levels, follow these recommendations and precautions. Adults aged 19 and older should aim for 15 mg of vitamin E daily. For those with kidney disorders, higher amounts may be necessary depending on the disease's severity. Some people may use a short course of 200 to 400 mg daily, but only with a doctor's advice. Taking more vitamin E than recommended can reduce the body's ability to form blood clots, potentially causing serious harm. Long-term high doses of vitamin E can also increase the risk of certain cancers. Since vitamin E is fat-soluble and stored in body tissues, high levels over extended periods can lead to toxicity. If you have health conditions or are taking medications, consult your doctor before supplementing with vitamin E. The timing of vitamin E intake can affect its levels in your body. You can take vitamin E at any time of the day, but some people use it to help with insomnia and prefer taking it at night. Because vitamin E is fat-soluble, it should be taken with foods containing healthy fats for better absorption. When buying vitamin E, note that standalone supplements can have higher dosages than those found in multivitamins, often exceeding the recommended daily limit of 15 mg. In summary, maintaining adequate vitamin D and E levels through diet and supplements can play a significant role in reducing proteinuria and supporting kidney health. Foods rich in vitamin D include fatty fish, liver, egg yolks, and UV-exposed mushrooms, as well as fortified products like milk and cereals. For vitamin E, focus on nuts, seeds, and leafy green vegetables, and remember to consult your doctor before starting any new supplement regimen, especially if you have underlying health conditions. Many foods are naturally rich in vitamin E, such as sunflower seeds, Brazil nuts, almonds, and peanuts. Wheat germ and vegetable oils like safflower, Corn and soybean oil are also high in vitamin E. Vegetables like pumpkin, asparagus, and red bell peppers contain good amounts of this vitamin, as do greens like spinach, mustard greens, and collards.
Avocados and mangoes are additional sources of vitamin E. Next, let's discuss vitamin B9, also known as folate or folic acid, and its benefits, particularly for kidney health. Vitamin B9 is often low in people with severe kidney disease. Like vitamins D and E, vitamin B9 has antioxidant properties that can help reduce inflammation and protect kidney tissues from damage caused by free radicals. In people on dialysis, vitamin B9 can help reduce damage to their dialysis access sites by lowering the chance of blood clots. It may also help mitigate the harmful effects of high phosphorus levels in the blood, which can lead to bone weakening and the formation of small stones in the body. Additionally, vitamin B9 helps break down homocysteine, an amino acid in the blood that, at high levels, can increase the risk of cardiovascular disease, kidney inflammation, and blood clots in those with severe kidney disease. A significant study highlighted the positive effects of vitamin B9 on reducing proteinuria, excess protein in the urine, and healing kidney damage. The American Journal of Kidney Disease published a 2020 review of a study called the China Stroke Primary Prevention Trial, which involved over 1,300 patients with high blood pressure and early to mid-stage chronic kidney disease. The results showed an over 80% decrease in the progression of kidney disease over four years in those who took daily vitamin B9. Recommendations for daily vitamin B9 intake depend on how well the body absorbs it. Folic acid, the supplement form of vitamin B9, is better absorbed than folate, the natural form found in food. Adults over 19 should take 400 micrograms of dietary folate equivalent, DFE, daily. This is equivalent to 240 micrograms of folic acid or 400 micrograms of folate. It's important not to take more than one milligram of folic acid from supplements or fortified foods daily. People with end-stage kidney disease might be prescribed high-dose folic acid supplements, five milligrams daily, but should only do so under a doctor's supervision. There are precautions to consider when taking vitamin B9, both vitamins B9 and B12 work with iron to build red blood cells, and taking too much B9 can mask symptoms of a B12 deficiency. Additionally, excessive intake of vitamin B9 may increase the risk of certain cancers. You can find vitamin B9 in multivitamins, prenatal vitamins, and B-complex vitamins. Methylfolate vitamins are also available for those with the MTHFR gene mutation. Check food labels on fortified products to ensure you're getting the recommended daily amount of vitamin B9. Vitamin B9 is present in many foods. Dark leafy green vegetables like arugula, kale, and spinach are high in folate, as are Brussels sprouts, broccoli, and asparagus. Other good sources include eggs, legumes like kidney beans and peas, walnuts, and flax seeds. Fortified foods like breads, cereals, pasta, corn masa, and rice also contain high amounts of folate acid. It's important to talk with your doctor about the benefits of vitamins D, E, and B9 to help manage proteinuria and support kidney health. We will now talk about when you should see your doctor about kidney disease. Stay until the end of this video for important information about the causes of proteinuria and how to prevent it. We previously explained that proteinuria can indicate your risk for future diseases and how kidney damage can lead to high blood pressure diabetes, and heart failure. Discuss with your doctor how to prevent or heal kidney damage to achieve optimal health. As kidney damage progresses, you might notice protein in your urine. It can look dark, bubbly, or frothy. You might also see swelling in your extremities or face because your kidneys can't filter out extra fluid. This fluid, known as edema, collects in your body. You may feel nauseous due to waste building up in your blood. Muscle twitching or cramping can occur due to imbalances in salts and minerals. These symptoms may not all appear at once and can worsen over time. If you experience them, speak with your doctor immediately. If you have chest pain or shortness of breath, seek emergency help right away. Always consult with a healthcare provider before making major changes to your diet or vitamin regimen, especially if you have chronic kidney disease or other health conditions. So far, you have learned that proteinuria is a sign of kidney damage. We have discussed how vitamins might help stop proteinuria and heal your kidneys, and you've heard about symptoms you may experience in later stages of kidney problems.